Grab your hot dogs and marshmallows, November 19th is National Camp Day. According to a survey by the ACA Youth Outcomes Battery, 96% of campers make new friends at camp and 70% gain self-confidence during a camp experience. Whether it was summer camp or a family trip, we have lots of wilderness memories. Recreational camping can be traced back to Britain Thomas Hiram Holding, but it was popularized in the UK on the River Thames. In the 1880s large numbers of visitors took part in camping, which related to the late Victorian craze for pleasure boating. Early camping equipment was heavy, so it was more convenient to transport it by boat or transportation craft that could be converted into a tent. Though Holding is seen as the father of camping, he's responsible for popularizing a different form of camping in the UK. In his youth, he experienced activity in the wild and spent time in the American prairies with his parents. He later embarked on a cycling and camping tour across Ireland with some friends. His book, Cycle and Camp in Connemara, led to the formation of the first camping group in 1901, the Association of Cycle Campers, which later became the Camping and Caravanning Club. In 1908 Holding wrote the Camper's Handbook so that he could share his enthusiasm for the outdoors with the rest of the world. In the 1870s and 1880s the first summer camps promised boys a chance to escape the indoors and fast-paced urban life. Girls' camps started to appear in the U.S. around 1900, many of which were located around New England. The oldest and continuously run camp for girls is Camp Wyungunik in Maine, which opened in 1902. In 1900, there were less than 100 summer camps in the U.S., but by 1918 over 1,000 were in operation. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.